Hello everyone, welcome to our brand new video. Today I'm gonna teach you how you can create a treasure chest that's not only gonna give you loot, but also a random amount of gold for your characters. So, let's get started. Now it's very simple to create a treasure chest inside RPG Maker. All you need to do is right click on the location, quick event creation, select treasure, pick the skin of your chest, in my case it's gonna be this one, press OK. And then we're good. All right. And here's your event of treasure chest that's been created. But it's not exactly doing what I would like to do. Because treasure chests in RPG Maker that are created that way always give a static amount of gold and only one loot. What I would like this treasure chest to do is give my player a brand new weapon, but also a random amount of gold. Like something not specifically static. I would like something that's say between 40 and 80 gold that the character can receive. So how do we do this? It's super simple. First go inside your treasure chest event, delete the change gold and the amount of gold were found, then delete those, and let's just select control variables. Now if you remember from my variable tutorial, you know that a variable can be assigned a random value. So this is exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna create a variable tree, which is called random amount gold click on apply and i'm gonna select a constant so set a value between 40 and 80 at random selected by our editor so once that this once that the number has been generated the second step that we're gonna do is click on change gold and instead of using the constant operand we're gonna use the variable which is going to be an increase of the variable random amount of gold. Press OK. So now the character will receive the random amount of gold that was decided by variable 3, which is between 40 and 80. And all that's left to be done is showing the text, which is going to say, you found backslash V index 3. So the amount that is directly inside the variable 3, which is our amount of gold, gold pieces beautiful so that's for the first step so the player receive a random amount of gold and we're also gonna do is give him the brand new weapon so change the weapon as well let's go with a long sword and we're gonna increase it by one and show the text once again you found a long sword all right so, and then of course, the animation, the sound effect, and the auto self switch add on so that we can't open the chest multiple times are all automatically set by the editor. So, all that's left to be done here is click on apply and go and test this. So, if I click on save, play the game, click on new game, as you can see, we have a trigger chest that's been created over here. And if I try to open it, I found 79 gold pieces and I found a long sword. That's awesome. But if I was to run it once again, since the number is random, it's going to provide us a new amount, which is definitely, well, most likely not going to be 79 once again, shall we? So this time it was 54 gold pieces. So this is how you can actually use variables with treasure chests to give random amount of gold, but I could also have decided that I want to give a random amount of long swords. So what I could have done is instead of control variable random amount gold, I could name a variable random amount loot because I'm gonna use it not only for gold but also for the sword. So what we're gonna do here is the random amount loot set a random value between 40 and 80 which we're gonna assign this for gold pieces. And once the gold pieces have been given and this message has been shown, we're gonna use again a control variable on the variable tree random amount loot. And we're gonna select a random number between one and three because I want the player this time to found, find between one and three swords. So instead, once again, of using the operand, we're gonna use the variable random amount loot, which is now between one and three. And you have found, you found the, uh, Da, 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 variable tree random amount of numbers uh, sorry random amount of swords and that's it so by using the same variable every time you can reassign it a new value 
which is going to allow you to not only save amount on the amount of variables but reuse it ever the same variables for every single chest in your game doesn't matter like as soon as the loot has been distributed you can reuse that same variable again and again and again and again it doesn't matter so let's just click on save let's test the game once again and now a new game all right so i found 62 gold pieces and i found three long swords and I could, of course, run it once more. Click on new game. I found 49 gold pieces this time and three long swords once again. Well, now, just want to give you a good example of the random number here. So we're just going to say that it can find up to 10 long swords, even though that's overkill here. But it's just to prove the point that this number is random. So a new game once again. 48 gold pieces and five long swords so as you can see we can always reuse the same variable random amount of loot to reassign the amount of loot that we're about to give either gold pieces long swords armors and stuff so that helps and there could be also items like carrots potions and whatever all right so that's it for today's video on treasure chest and how you can use variables to make your loot a little bit more random make sure to like subscribe leave some comments yada yada and i'll see you in another video bye okay bye